Hey everyone, it's Alyssa Cat, and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a get ready with me using a full face of drugstore first impressions. It has been a while since I last filmed a video and I definitely have some new products that I've been wanting to try out and I feel like doing a get ready with me is the perfect way to test out some new products and also catch you guys up on what has been going on in my life. So if you guys are ready, grab your makeup, grab a snack, and let's get ready together. Let's start off by pulling back my hair with this super mature and handy hair band that I got just for the first part while I put on my foundation. Anyways, today we are skipping primer and going straight into foundation because I don't like trying a new primer and a new foundation at the same time. In case it goes badly, then you can never tell if it was because of the primer or because of the foundation or the combination of both of them together. So this is a foundation that I have not tried yet, so it is new to me. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. A two-in-one foundation and concealer and this is in the shade 02 light they do have one shade lighter than this that is porcelain but it has some pink undertones and that one go well with my skin so I remember way back then this was all the rage on YouTube a lot of people were trying it out and even though all of the reviews I watched were positive I don't ever see anybody use this anymore so I'm still curious and wanting to try it out I'm just gonna shake it up a little bit and hopefully I won't have to put on concealer after this on a day-to-day -day basis I don't actually use foundation I just use like some concealer to spot conceal and then a layer of powder all over my face and then I'm pretty much good to go so I'm going to take a little bit of this on the back of my hand. I'm going to start off with that amount. I don't know if that is a lot, uh, depending on how good the coverage is. I'm just going to take a damp beauty sponge and kind of dab it in there. And I'm going to start by going in on areas of my face that have most discoloration and spots to cover up and I hope that this is the right shade because there wasn't too much of a selection but let's just try and blend this in um, I think the color is gonna be fine it will be fine <laughs> okay so catching you guys up what has been going on in my life I feel like it has been forever since I last filmed a video and I think that's because for the last two or three years it's just been really difficult for me to find consistent time to film and edit and upload videos I feel like I'm always either moving or starting a new job or going to a different country on vacation or just working too many hours in the week that I don't have time to make videos and upload them. So I'm going to try and do some more of these type of videos where it's really laid back, just kind of get ready with me instead of bigger tutorials that take more time to prepare and set up. Foundation isn't bad, by the way. I feel like it's not a mask as long as you go on kind of thin even though I'm completely out of foundation um, a one pump pretty much did half of my face so I'm gonna go in with probably one more pump and do the other half my biggest concern when it comes to trying out new face products and foundations is if it's going to make me break out because my skin while not being sensitive to most products it does break out very easily so I kind of have a very regimented skincare routine of just my favorites and products that work for me. I'm the only person I know who uses my sponge this way as opposed to using like the pointy end. I'm not sure why. I think I just like the bigger surface cover area that can just do my makeup quicker. I spend probably about 20 minutes each day doing my makeup in the morning so I just want to get everything done very quick. I'm going to be taking powder and lightly powdering the rest of my face. This isn't a radiant foundation or anything so I'm not gonna bother with selectively setting my face. I'm just gonna set the whole thing. And I'm using the Rimmel London Clear Complexion Powder, setting powder, clarifying powder. And I'm just gonna be taking my powder brush from Morphe. This is the 
MB1. I'm just gonna get a light dusting and tap it all over my face. So for my brows, I'm also using a Milani product. This is the Easy Brow Brow Pencil in dark brown, and I just have to get this out of the package. I'm just gonna start off with brushing my brows into the areas where I want them. And generally, I like to keep the beginning of my brows as natural as possible and I mostly fill in the edges and I like to make them a little bit more straighter as is the Asian look. I actually just came back from a trip to Vietnam and it was 10 days long and I didn't buy really any makeup. I think I bought like two lip balms or something like that. Two lip balms, maybe a face lotion and that was it. I really didn't have a lot of time to go to any places that sold makeup and kind of look around at what kind of brands they had. But the lip balms are really good. I actually really do like them. I'm just going to brush so that it blends right into my bra. And then I'm going to go into the ends. I'm going to set them right away and I'm using a gel that I actually got in Vietnam and this is the eyebrow gel clear there's literally no brand on it I think it's Japanese and I got this at a Daiso that was there and I'm just gonna take this and set the brow hairs into place I think next I'm going to go and finish my face because generally I like to do my face makeup and set it and then I go in afterwards and do my eye makeup because I find if I spray my setting spray over top of some mascaras it kind of runs and makes them like clump together the lashes so I just like to finish all my face makeup and then go on to the eye makeup and on a day to day basis I don't wear contour, bronzer or blush. But for the purpose of this video, I did pick up a blush and of course a highlight. I love putting highlight on to add a little bit of radiance to the skin. This blush, I feel like this is like a Milani tutorial so far, using the Conceal Perfect foundation and then the brows and now the blush. This is the renowned Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso and this again was all the rage once upon a time. I'm going to be using just an eco tools I think this is like a powder brush I don't know I'm gonna be using it as a blush brush and it's like a really pretty peachy shimmery shade I'm gonna start off by ooh, it's quite pigmented so I'm gonna start off tapping that off and going in really light-handedly and just putting this in the apples of my cheeks and kind of bringing it back a little bit so just kind of tap 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 and then blending upwards. Next we're going to go into highlight and I'm actually really excited about this. This is an e.l.f. highlight, shimmering highlighting powder in Starlight Glow. I think they only have two shades in this. One was Sunset, I believe, which is a little bit darker than this one. And of course they have all of their baked highlights as well. But this one I really wanted to try out because I love the pan size and it looked a little less glittery and chunky than the baked ones so this is what it looks like and I'm just using another Morphe brush this is the M100 and I like to use this for highlighting I'm just gonna take some of this and put it on my cheekbones Ooh, it definitely does show up on the face I'm gonna need my mirror for this I'm just gonna put this on my cheekbones up into the temples like so wow that is very bright. And I'm going to do the same for the other side as well. I wear highlight on a day-to-day -day basis even though I don't put on bronzer or contour. And I feel like it just kind of gives your face a nice dewy glow. But I feel like contour and bronzer and blush has just never really been my thing. I don't know why. We are appropriately blinding. I'm going to take a little bit down the bridge of my nose. Just a little bit like that. I don't really do like the whole like on the end of my nose thing. Because I don't want my nose to look like that pointy. It is quite pointy already as it is. 
Sometimes I like to take some on the top of my eyebrows for a little bit of highlight. And of course my cupid's bow. Sometimes a little bit on the chin, but I have like a breakout right there right now, so I don't want to highlight it too much. So for setting spray, I have two. I'm going to be using the Pixi Makeup Fixing Mist with rose water and green tea. And I also have the Dewy Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray by NYX. So I'm first going to take the Makeup Fixing Spray and spray that all over. Hey. So now that the makeup has sat really nicely into my skin, I think it looks pretty good actually. I'm not mad at all by the application. Hopefully this wears really well throughout the day. So now that we are done with the face, I'm going to go on to the eyes. And for the eyes, I have this Hard Candy eyeshadow palette. This is in Birthday Suit and it has some really nice neutral colors. Again, on a day-to-day -day basis for my everyday makeup, I skip eyeshadow. I'm really drawn to this warm tan shade and maybe a little bit of the dark brown shade. I'm not sure yet. We're gonna try first by putting this brown shade on <coughs> the lid. We're gonna put it on the lid. It's a very light color. I wouldn't say it's super pigmented at all. I think I'm actually going to bring you guys in a bit closer. Hi. So, as you can see, it's a very light shade. I'm just layering it on and slowly getting a little bit of color out of it. I'm finally going to take a different brush though. This is going to be the crease color and I'm gonna go in with this darkest shade right there and I'm just taking an M139 it's like a very fluffy crease kind of color and I'm just gonna put this on the outer edge hello this is this is in a nutshell why I don't wear eyeshadow on a day to day basis it's I mean now I just look like I have black eyes Okay, we're gonna clean it up with another brush. This is a very um, mangled brush. This is the M209, nothing on it. I'm just gonna blend out the edges. Going back into that first color that I had right here on this brush, I'm just kinda trying to win back some eyelid space from this dark shade that just kind of took over my life right now. I might cheat a little bit because this is not part of a first impression. But I do have a eyeshadow here by Joe Fresh that I got a while ago and it is in this really pretty gold shade called Gold Rush, I believe. Yes, Gold Rush. I'm just going to take this on my finger a little bit. I'm just going to tap this in the center of my eyelids. And for eyeliner, again, I don't wear eyeliner on a day-to-day -day basis. But we will be doing mascara. I'm going to quickly curl my lashes first with my Misha eyelash curler. And I'm wondering if I'm the only one who does this. I see a lot of people, when they curl their lashes, they kind of just curl it once and they're done. But I like to curl my lashes in several different areas of the lash. I like to curl like the tip of the lash, the middle lash, and then as close to the base as I can get and kind of really get it into a sort of a continuous curl going up. That's how I get them to kind of come up like that. And the mascara I'm using is actually something I've used before. This is from e.l.f. and this is the lengthening and volumizing mascara. I don't believe this is waterproof, but it says new formula on the package. So 
I'm excited to see if it is the same as what I used before. Or so the tube is pretty much the same. And I think the brush is the same as well. Oh. oh. I don't know if I remember the brush being that short and round looking. But it's definitely interesting. I'm going to go in with this on my upper lashes first. Definitely a more drier formula. I feel like I have to really kind of work it into the lashes. Put a little bit on my lower lashes as well. It's a little bit difficult. I'm going to go in with a second coat just on the tips of the lashes for a little bit of added length. And that is what we got with mascara versus not mascara. Okay, I'm sorry, look at how dry this formula is. It's kind of like sticking out of the tube as I go into it. It's like when you have a really old mascara and it gets clumpy, but it's already at that point. <laughs> Alright you guys, I'm going to quickly wrap this up because my camera cut me off as it is dying. I did apply two lip products from Joe Fresh. This is the Longwear Lip Veil in the shade Nude. And it's just like a matte pinky shade. And then on top of that, I put on this more glossier lip coating, I guess you would call it, in Sweet Nectar, and it's got some of those really nice peachy tones, so together I felt like they would just tie in really nice with the blush that I have going on, and that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me. I really like some of the face products. The blush was really good. So far the foundation is okay. I've never had thicker eyebrows <laughs> going on right now, and I'm not so keen on the eye shadow but I'm really happy that I got to try out all these products. Hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. And I'm just gonna tap into this. Tap off the excess. Exhaust. What is the exhaust? The excess? Hi camera, welcome back, it's me.